Hey, how's it going guys? This is Rohan from Tech Testify and the last video I uploaded on YouTube was about the latest iPhone not having a 3.5mm headphone jack. And these were all rumors, but the latest Motorola flagship, the Moto Z was launched a week ago and didn't have a headphone jack, which was like Motorola removed the headphone jack before even Apple thought of eating an apple. And now we see all these USB Type C and Lightning headphones floating all around the internet. So this is USB Type C and Lightning headphones explained. For starters, the USB Type C port is actually a universal port, which we are seeing on a lot of Android phones like the OnePlus 2, laptops like the MacBook and the Chromebook Pixel, and it's one of the really versatile ports, which is small and really powerful. Lightning, on the other hand, is a port by Apple which is used to charge small Apple accessories like the iPhone or the iPad. The 3.5mm headphone jack occupied a lot of space on any phone, be it the iPhone or any Android phone, which could accommodate one a bigger battery or other components. Technically, the phones we use are digital devices and the headphones require analog input. To solve this problem, every phone has a DAC built-in, which is a digital to analog converter which converts signals from 1s and zeros to waves and amplifies those waves through speakers or your headphones. That's why the same soundtrack can sound a bit different when you hear it from an iPhone or a Samsung device because eventually they have different DACs built in. The point of Lightning and USB Type-C headphones is to have a DAC built into the headphones rather than relying on the phone's DAC to function. So, with Lightning or USB Type-C headphones, the music you'll hear will be the same as the headphones manufacturer has intended it to sound, irrespective of the phone you're using. The pros to having these headphones is that you'll have a better dynamic range and an all-around better music listening experience. And every phone you connect these headphones to will sound the same, be it an iPhone or a Samsung phone. Some extra space to fill a bigger battery and other components. It'll be a win-win for headphone manufacturers as the music we listen to will no longer rely on the phone we use but the headphones we buy. On the other hand, the headphones will cost a lot more than they actually should and you won't be able to charge your phone and listen to music at the same time. Your Lightning or USB Type-C headphones won't work with your PC or laptop unless you're a boss and buy stuff like crazy to make all your tech compatible throughout with your Lightning or USB Type-C headphones or you buy a hell lot of adapters and make your expensive pair of headphones compatible universally. Also, the battery life on your smartphone will be affected with the DAC in your headphones as they'll drive power from your phone. So that's pretty much it for this short explained video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.